In the past several months, I have had the opportunity to learn a lot more about Clothe 3D and about Closet, Clothe 3D's platform for viewing and sharing your clothes files. I made this video a while ago, not knowing as much about Closet as I do now, and I have to say that there is a lot more you can do with this tool than I realized. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikkel Drew Pelham. I talk about digital fashion design software and communication on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. So in this video, I was discussing how to create a tech pack in close set. And one of my gripes was that it was a paid function. Sadly, it's still a paid function, but I've realized just how many other cool things you could do in close set. And to be honest, if I were to use the tech pack function in Closet, it would only be because it's a function that's available to me, not because I thought it was so much better than what I already had access to. And for many companies that are currently using a PLM software, it's probably not a function you need anyway because you're already creating your tech packs in PLM. I'll eventually make other videos on some of the other functions, but today I wanted to focus on their line sheet feature. At one point I made this video showing how to create a line sheet, but if you're creating your line using Clo, this is a great function to take advantage of. And this is one feature that given the choice, I choose the Closet line sheet over recreating one in InDesign or Excel or Google Sheets. So let me show you how to do it. Navigate to the workroom with the styles you want to add to the line sheet. And the line sheet option shows near the top right of the page. When you click, it automatically generates a line sheet for you that includes all the styles in that workroom, as well as all the colorways you may have created. Your line sheet can be viewed as a list or as thumbnails. And although the thumbnail view is much more dynamic, the list view allows for a lot more editability and there's a lot more information about the style shown in the list view. First off, in the list view, you can export into every business person's favorite program, Excel. You can also edit many of these categories, change the adoption status, indicate whether it's a carryover or new product, change the content number or content ID, select a garment category, and if you continue scrolling to the right, you can also add sales information like quantities, price, sales channels, stores it'll be sold in. What I also think is pretty cool is that based on the materials information you use when you initially built your style, Closet pulls in that information to give you a development cost. And if you saw my previous video on pricing a product, I mentioned your break-even costs. The development cost is a big part of that. Now keep in mind that this price is only as relevant as the information you provide in Clo. So if you didn't add pricing information to your materials or you use the wrong materials, this may not be accurate. But if you did do this accurately, Closet can calculate the fabric yield and the cost of your trims to give you a materials cost, which is a pretty crucial number, particularly for smaller fashion creatives. So I was pretty excited to learn about this and other functions that I'll highlight in future videos because I really didn't want to have to pay to subscribe to anything else. Once you really get into 3D and even just digital fashion software in general, those costs can start to quickly add up. So it was nice to discover some useful things that I could do for free. Thanks for watching today's video. If you want to learn to use Clothe 3D and you want a clear, organized roadmap to get you creating designs quickly, tap the link in the description to sign up for my beginner class. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next time.